Hi Pisces, welcome to your November 2015 General Taroscope. It's Raina here. And it's kind of a mixed bag in terms of the different types of energies that are happening in November in the houses that they fall into in your chart. Now, of course, this is a general Taroscope, so the exact degrees and exact houses won't apply to every Pisces person out there. If you would like something that is using your exact time of birth and birth date, you can click on a link below to be taken to my website and I have a variety of offerings. And in this case, when we're pretending that everybody is the same, the sun is going to be in the ninth house for the first three weeks of the month. So if you are a college professor, if you are a student, this is the house of higher learning. This could also relate to anything that has to do with philosophy. So this might mean that you're really thinking a lot about the direction you want to go in life and the values that you have. I do think you're going to be doing a bit of soul searching because this ninth house activity is also related to religion. It's more of the conventional variety. And you do have Venus and Mars going into the eighth house of the occult, of the mysteries of life on the eighth and the 12th of the month res respectively. And this is kind of even more esoteric than the ninth house. So I think that there is a lot of contemplating that you'll be doing during the month of November. Of course, for the first three weeks, the sun is in Scorpio and this is a fellow water sign. And so being mystical, which comes naturally to you anyway, is just heightened during this time. One of the things that I think is really nice is that you have Saturn in your 10th house. And this is going to be going on for several years until 2017. Saturn rules the 10th house, so it belongs there. And it does great things when it comes to career, which is what the 10th house represents. So that should be very good for any endeavors that you have on the career front. The new moon at 19 degrees of Scoreville happens on the portal date of 1111. This is going to occur in your ninth house. So again, developments with foreign travel, with philosophy, with higher learning, maybe foreigners. Maybe you'll meet somebody who is from a different country that leads you to a new direction in life. But it could have to do with people who are associated with universities or with churches. It doesn't have to be in a specific context. It could be in your personal life or it could be in your career. Speaking of moons, we have a full moon at three degrees of Gemini on the 25th of November, and this is going to affect your fourth house. So something may come to light about your family of origin. You may hear from parents. You may hear news about parents. This could have to do with your current family or your current house, something you find out about your house. Maybe you get a new house. Maybe you find out that your house has been sold, that you've put on the market and you've been waiting for a buyer. Maybe you are moving out of your current house. With Venus and Mars in the eighth house, there could be some kind of monetary gain coming from an inheritance or from some other sort of money that you are given by another person, whether it's from a loan or a gift or something to do with stocks that really have taken off and that you sell, but it could be that you have to expend some energy dealing with an inheritance. Make sure that you do not become too aggressive when you're pursuing this. Luckily, Venus will be right there with Mars, so it might tend to mitigate any of this type of aggressive energy. Okay, Pisces, the first card that I get for you is 
the six of pentacles in reverse. The six of pentacles in reverse can indicate stinginess, possibly on your part. And I, when I think of the signs, I think of Pisces as a sign that is rather tight with their money. However, they can also be foolish in spending it on other people who are not deserving of it. In other words, unscrupulous characters. And this can be the six of pentacles in reverse to a T that you are giving your money to someone who is using you and you're trying to buy love or something of that nature, but it's not using money wisely in some way. And there's a definite material connection to this card because, you know, it is a pentacles card. Now, typically we can kind of interpret the card in a love sense but in, since this is a general reading, I am trying to be more broad in my interpretation. However, I, I'm getting another love. It's like I can't get away from these love readings. The same thing happened with Aries. Because the accompanying card, which was the message from the universe, is the Eight of Cups in reverse. And this is like somebody who refuses to let go of a situation and move on. And the cups relate to water signs. So it, it's definitely could be you, but for sure it's an emotional letting go that's not occurring. That somebody, pro probably you, is holding on to, to a situation that is really not serving you, and it is probably a relationship. And then I got, for the action steps, the Justice card and the Four of Swords in Reverse, so I immediately thought of some sort of need maybe to call a lawyer, get a divorce. If this is you spinning your wheels and trying to make something work that's unsalvageable, some of you may need to hear this and you may, may need to call a lawyer, get it taken care of, put yourself out of this misery of having this relationship, this marriage, hanging on by a thread. The um, Four Swords in Reverse is more about getting out into the fray. Maybe you have been withdrawn, which the Four of Swords upright suggests of the kind of contemplating your choices. And now it's time to get back. You know, the swords can relate to kind of conflict, but sometimes conflict isn't bad. Sometimes it's necessary when we're trying to resolve a situation, we have to have a bit of back and forth. And the outcome card is another swords card, which is the nine of swords. Now, obviously no one wants to have the nine of swords as the outcome of your reading, because that is the card of the person who has insomnia and is full of anxiety. What I suspect that this means is that if you don't take care of the situation, it will not go away and it will cause you continuous anxiety. Now, for some of you, this six of pentacles in reverse may be somebody who is stealing from you in your home. And I hate to use the example of the child, the adult child who has a drug problem, but you know, I have to go there. You know, some people, especially a Pisces person, can be an enabler and can allow somebody to steal from them if they love them and they don't want to deal with it, you know. And that justice card is saying, no, there is right and wrong. And you got to do something about this. And I'm not suggesting that you do anything, you know, like to get the person arrested. If it's somebody that you love, you might just want to make sure that they get help. You know, people who have addictions need help. They don't need to be put in jail. Even if they are stealing, they're doing it for a reason. And we have to, it's, it's not being, you know, naive. It really is true. We need to, to help them to heal. And so I personally, when I see the justice card, I just mean that the person is doing something that is not right. Now, whether or not 
how we deal with that person is a whole different story. But it's asking you to look at the behavior and seeing what needs to be done about it so that it doesn't just keep happening. And so I think that this reading in typical Piscean fashion is a bit on the dramatic side, but I think that for those of you for whom it may have resonated, maybe it has given you a bit of advice. Otherwise, I still think that you are going to have a great career time and I wish you all the best, Pisces. Take care. Goodbye.